In this video, I want to show you how to use the LMBF Object Sync Indicator. Now, typically, this is going to be used when you have a preferred layout of two or more time frames for a single instrument on your desktop. In this particular instance, I have both the weekly and daily time frames for Aussie CAD. The weekly give me the longer term overview picture, while the daily is the one that I may be trading from. Now, what I want to happen is that if I draw anything in one chart, such as a support or resistance line, or an area of supply or demand, or even a trend line, then I can see this automatically in the other chart. So, what I need to do is first add the object sync indicator to the chart. Now, my recommendation is going to be have this in your default template so if it's always available. So what I'll do is select that chart, bring out the default template, drag the indicator onto the chart and hit OK. And then save the template as your default. Yes. And then on the other one, I will just apply the default template. Obviously, if you open to any other chart, then that indicator would now be included. So let's say I want to draw a trend line on this chart to weekly, and therefore I will know exactly where it lays on the daily. So let's start from down here. Have a very good trend line. Nevertheless, you get my point. It appears instantly on this side as well. And similarly, let's draw a line of supply or demand, so support or resistance from here. Now you can't instantly see it here until I scroll down and see it lower down. Let's just do something a little bit closer to current price. So I will draw a line of support underneath this large black candle. I'm going to do it with a dashed line this time. There it is, and then you can also see it on here. Now, these will work in that they remove them, they move in sync. It works for pretty much all your objects, text boxes, labels, thread lines, rectangles, ellipses, triangles, and so on. It works if you change properties. Let's change the color of this line, for instance. See it changes on both the charts. Click rectangle, and there you go. You see the rectangle appear on both charts. And likewise, let me just delete the yellow box again. It disappears on both the charts. So very easy to use and very handy as well. So that brings me to this video. I hope that's all clear. Thank you for watching.